Well, look, come on, come on me. I've just spotted something really exciting. I had to stop the car quite quick in this little, this little lay-by in these sleepers, but uh, we've we got to go and see this. I never knew, I didn't know they still had it. I mean, it's still here. They've got a 1980s uh, British military Land Rover. But I know, actually, it's actually more exciting than that. Look! They've got Class 37 042 in the uh, X uh, EWS colours and it's all faded. And I came here many years ago. We were actually like really, I think we were in a VW Passat when we came here about 10 years ago and they had this. But I thought it disappeared, but it's still here. Wow, it's pretty exciting. You can't beat uh, spotting a, a wild tractor sitting in the field, you know. It, it, just think that's, that's a clad monster sitting there waiting for someone to get in it with his, slip, his 1099 slip-on grey shoes with his thrash merchant right hand and then go down Cumbrian Coast. In 80s mythology, who was going to be a thrash merchant if he had white socks and grey slip-on shoes? <laughs> Thrashing was what it was all about because you know, it's the noise, it's the, there's, there's a lot of power in these things. You know, it's big, it's loud, it's powerful, it's interesting, and, and thrash merchants were always what you were looking for. But it's waiting there, look, and it's, it's a, a long, a split, um, split like a, a head cold on it, with the two lights, you know, with a, like the gangway where you can go through nose. Um, well, you actually don't see many of them now, the, a lot of them were all sort of flushed up or put to like with just uh, the different head code on what was like a, a more flatter nose but you don't see many like that but it, it can't beat right T here Thomas Edward has two of his favorite things in one field a 1990 H-Reg uh, military Land Rover Defender 110 and a class 37 in the same place don't happen every day that doesn't but uh, we're at uh, if no one knows where I'm stood here I'm at Warcop and walk up military army base things over there where there's tank crossings and then walk up also has a, a heritage railway so it and it's in and i've been here a few times but i didn't know they still had this exciting stuff i want to have a, a bit of a mooch and see what else you can find but yeah that's a that's something else and it's still got its um it's still got its little phone area on the the nose as well what you don't see anymore because everything's like you know it's all digital almost now they, they don't seem to have them on 37s anymore but it's still got it it's pretty uh, pretty exciting stuff so since i uh, last went to walk up many many moons ago the class 37 they had then was class 37 250 now 250 since then has gone away and been done up and it looks super duper now so the 37 behind me is a different loco, so 37042 has been with Warcop since about 2011, so it's been there a long time. They haven't done anything with it yet, but they probably can't get funds for it to do something with it. So the, the history of uh, Class 37042, I should say, was built at Vulcan Foundry Works in Lancashire in 1962, and when it left the works, it Num its number was D6742, so the early locos in the 60s were D numbers rather than what you see today. When Total Operations Processing System came in, I think it's about late 60s in the UK, the number changed to what we know it today is 37042. Now this loco, it first got located to Dano uh, shed in Sheffield, but since then it's been everywhere. There's like there's one, one of the 37 websites online tells you where it was stabled and where it was seen, you know, and like pretty much it's sort of uh, networks of running all the way up to 1986, and then after that, there's not really much apart from. It was when it went into the EWS colours, what you see in today, in 2021, it's a bit faded. There is quite a lot of footage of it when it was quite shiny in this livery. Uh, used in early 2000, 2003, 2004, doing a lot of uh, rail tours and also bits of passenger as well. Um, so even though it was, it was used throughout its life much, uh, as a freight loco, 
you know, that was its main sort of role. It was using Passenger more later on than its life into early 2000s. Um, so it, some of the places it's been to, it was uh, located to, was uh, Cardiff, um, Ely Mills, Farnaby, Tinsley and Immingham. So it's been lots of different places. Um, but it was, it was in 2004, so it must have been late 2004, because in 2004 it was working rail tours. Um, it was probably 2000, yeah, probably 2005, 2006, I should say, it was put into uh, storage. And I think it finally went into storage in 2007, and then it finally got sold off into uh, being a preserved local rather than a mainline local in 2011. So that's probably when it ended up at uh, Walcott. Now, there's a lot of preserved Class 37s that are actually getting re-bought to put back on the main line. You know, it's, 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 you know, times are changing and they need the, all these locals, these locals, they sold off. They're needing them back up main line now, so actually a lot of 37s are still got dead useful bits of kit. So they're getting re-bought and getting done up and putting back into main line spec again to be run. So that's happening at the moment. So maybe this could eventually might go back up main line. But if not, it'd be, pres it'd be still staying as a preserved local and it'd be run up and down for tourists and so on. And uh, diesel gal is my favourite. My favourite thing, that is. TE loves a good diesel gal, especially East Lancs Railway. You know, they're the best. They are. And many, many a happy day at East Lancs Diesel Gala as a, as a young TE. Uh, but yeah, pretty much this loco is uh, waiting for restoration. Um, so we should see it back out doing some um, back out looking smart, you know. Well, but the thing I should say before I sign off here is it's an early split head cold uh, nose. Uh, there's not many of them about now. Like I was saying on the, on camera then, that a lot of them are not a different head colds and that. They don't, there's not many you see with that split head cold with doors in the nose anymore. They don't really seem to exist too much. So it's quite nice to see that they got, I think they look quite nice because they in my head, they look like a class 40 rather than a class 37 when they got the split egg codes. You no, know, class 40 is a, a T's secret favourite uh, local. Um, so I think they look pretty smart. Um, but some people like other the ones with the normal egg codes on them or the more flusher end on them. Um, but I think, yeah, split egg codes. Pretty, I, think it, I think it looks smart in my head. Firstly, because they look like a class foot, and secondly, you just don't see it. It's unique. I like unique. Unique stuff to TE. It's proper. It's proper good stuff. You, you know, because it stands out. Unique stuff. You know, you can't. You can't. Bl There's no point following the crowd when you can stand out. So, I think it looks good. You should keep it like that when they refurb it. They probably will, because if it, it's an early local, 1962, uh, they probably they would keep it to original spec. I would have thought whoever's. Uh, going to do the restoration on it so I've been very kindly uh, given the permission to use a couple bits of footage off YouTube of uh, class 37042 one is it double heading with uh, 37047 up the Licky incline in 1998 what's well, a, a bit of serious thrash Double heading with 37114 on the uh, the Cambrian coast, you know, in Wales, uh, on a tour, and it's got some uh, it's got some uh, out the window action. It's also got it arriving at station. So I, I, I'll let you uh, enjoy this. It's some serious good uh, ear candy.
so I hope you've enjoyed this quick TE video, Thomas Edwards, and uh, you have enjoyed it. Give me, give me a big like and uh, a comment and a, and a subscribe. But uh, you might be thinking uh, I'm doing a bit of Otis Redding of sitting on the, the the edge of the dock of the bay. Well, I'm technically not. I'm sitting on the edge of a back of a blast wall. It's not every day TE gets to sit on the back of a blast wall. But uh, remember to uh, click that big bell. Ding!